back to the channel again. This is American Dilly. And if you're tuned into the podcast, man, or if you're watching us on YouTube, I got to say from the bottom of my heart, I greatly appreciate it, man. I greatly appreciate it because the community that we have built, it is growing, man. It is transponding. Look, the podcast views, they're going good, man. I appreciate all y'all listening to me when you're going to work, man. That's when I listen to podcasts the most is when I'm going to work, man. And I appreciate over 11,000 people on the YouTube channel, man. Shout out to Brazil. Shout out to Singapore. Shout out to the Philippines, man. People are tuning in, man, and I'm loving it, man. I am loving it. On today's show, man, on today's show, what I'm getting into is what everybody else in the world is talking about right now, man. Right now, Elon Musk. What did the man do? What did the man do? He walked in the conference room, big old billionaire ball swinging, and he put it on the table, man, and he said, I'm buying Twitter. And that's what he did. And that is just what he did. But before I get into that, y'all, man, I want to make sure y'all jump down to the description section and check out the apparel store, man, the American Dilly apparel store. As you can see, you can't see it if you're on the podcast. I apologize, but jump down the description section and check it out. And you can see the work that we are doing. We got brand new shirts, man. We put them together with our bare hands. We mail them out to you. And that's just what it is, man. That's ultimately the American spirit. At the end of the day, we put it together, give it to you. We do the assembling and put it right in your hand, man. Thank you for the support. So anyway, anyway, folks, man, jumping into Elon Musk, mainstream media is in a tizzy. They are in a damn tizzy. That's all they're talking about today is that this man decided to walk in. Shout out to Zen right now because I got to put I got to put a pouch in, man, when I talk about this because I get so worked up. But anyway, they're mainstream media, man. I'm talking ABC, MSNBC, CNN, just the left in general. They are worried that this man walked in and put down an offer and bought out Twitter. He bought it out from all of the people who own stocks. You see, the board of directors was a little hesitant on it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the board is not who owns the company. You see, it was a public company. So he bought it out, man. He bought it out so much, so much that Jake, what's his name? Jake Dorsey? Okay, he was on the board of directors. And look, let me tell you something. Shout out to Jake Dorsey, okay? Because he was supporting Elon Musk in this. And I'm going to go into more. But anyway, shout out to Jake Dorsey. He was supporting Elon Musk. But look, man, this guy was a board of directors. He, he gained a, a billion, not a million. I was going to say, man, he gained a billion dollars from this man buying him out. All the board, all the board members gained millions and billions. Except that one, except that one little dude that sat in the back corner. And uh, he didn't even own a share in this, the, the company. How are you on the board of a company if you don't own a share? Anyway, y'all, we are diverging, man. We are uh, diverging from this. The left is going crazy right now. And I don't mean just the left. I'm talking about just weird, weirdo white people are going crazy because they feel that Elon Musk, okay, is going to make Twitter more toxic, one New York Times editor said that she is scared that Twitter is going to become a toxic place where people cannot talk about the things that they want to talk about. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you not realized that Twitter has been that since well beyond 2016? I can't go on there and say what I want to say because I don't even have a Twitter account. I might get one now. Shout out to you, Elon. I might get one now, but I'm just saying, I can't go on there, not with my beliefs, not with not with the, with the way I think, because they shut it down. They shut it down. The left, has, look, man, it's proven, proven fact. They hate, they hate speech. They hate speech, and they're scared that people are going to get that opinion. You see what I'm saying? They're scared people are going to get that opinion, the, the ability to talk about it. They don't like that because that ruins the narrative. You see, they're also, look, look, they're also saying, this is what, this is what they're saying. You can go on Twitter and read all this, man. These are all politicians saying it. Politicians are scared that if Elon Musk owns Twitter, politicians might get banned from Twitter. <sighs> Mic drop. Have politician have, have people in the government not been banned from Twitter already? I mean, they banned a standing president from Twitter because what he said they didn't agree with. 
they banned senators from Twitter because what they said, they didn't agree with. But now the left is worried because somebody who believes in freedom of speech owns it, that they might start banning the other way. And look, man, look, I'm going I'm to I'm silence those rumors right now. And I look, I don't know, man, the future is going to, we're going to see where Elon goes in the future. As I said, man, he's done some things. I'm not his biggest fan, but I am a fan of what he's been doing lately. Okay. Elon Musk is not a conservative. He's a libertarian. This guy isn't even, he doesn't even believe in, in the parties and all that stuff. He doesn't believe in that. What he believes in is freedom of speech. That's what makes the country great. So he said, he said, I hope that everybody who doesn't agree with me stays on Twitter and tells me they don't agree with me. I hope everybody who, who I hope that Twitter can become just an open platform for dialogues for both and everybody just to talk and blah, blah, blah. See, so it won't affect anybody as long as you're preaching the truth. As long as you're not trying to lie to people, it won't affect anybody. Because everybody will be able to get their opinion. And ultimately, isn't that not the American spirit to get the opinion? I mean, if you look at Elon Musk right here, if you look at him, they do not want this man to take it. And he did. He walked in because he's solely independent and he, and he had the money to do it. And there you go. Now, now they want to tax the rich again. All of a sudden, now you want to tax the rich, man. We ain't heard that since, since who was in, oh, since Donald Trump was president. That's right. Since there was a rich person who had a different point of view, they wanted to tax him. Now they want to, they want to hit Elon Musk. The only problem is Elon, on all his corporations that he has, he doesn't collect a paycheck. He owns stock in all his corporations. Therefore, he collects money off the stocks. Therefore, he does not collect a paycheck. Wow, that's that's kind of reminding me of somebody else too who who did a, a you know just a job for the people and didn't collect a paycheck. It's reminding me of that. In fact, what Elon Musk has done right now is the most monumentous thing that happened to America since Donald Trump running for president because. Because it is somebody who has no like former experience in these different things going into an avenue because they just believe in a value that we have here in this country. Hmm. Wow. Like I said, the, the, the tales of time will show us what he does. I'm not trying to say that I'm his biggest supporter right now, but cancel culture is definitely scared that they are about to get canceled because Elon believes in freedom of speech. And it's crazy because the freedom freedom of speech sounds like hate speech to people who don't like it. It's very funny when you think about it. it, it it's funny. You you know, somebody could come and, and tell you their opinion and you could be like, hey, I don't agree with you. Okay, that's how we handle it on the street. Like, like in the driveways, when I'm drinking beers in the neighborhood and, and somebody else says, I don't agree with you, man. And that's how dads end up in the garages talking about things. And that's how people are. And the fact, that's what the country was built on. See, the founding fathers did not want us to have monopolies on certain things to sway people in different directions. And he is guaranteed that he is not trying to sway people in any direction. He is trying to give open platforms to make it free for everybody. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? How, why is it that when somebody comes along and says, hey, I want it to be fair for everybody, the side that was getting everything gets upset. Isn't that, isn't that funny? That's funny how the way, the, the way it works, man. Because the media, the media has been such a monopoly for so long. We have seen how it trickles down so long. And between all the major players who own these companies, whether it be Facebook and all these other ones, I'm not gonna say names because I'm not trying to get demonetized, but at the same time, you understand what I'm saying, man. There has been a monopoly for so long and now we have an upset in the monopoly and we have somebody who thinks different. And I honestly think that different opinions are amazing. Different opinions are what makes made this country beautiful to begin with. So many people with different opinions coming together for a common goal. That is ultimately why we have the United States of America that we love today. That's just, that's just the point blank period reason why 
they're mad. Actually, no. The reason they're mad is because he's really the only billionaire in our society. In fact, he's like the richest man in the world right now. But anyway, he's the only billionaire in our society right now who agrees with the founding father's perception on what this country should have been. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy when you think about that, that there's only one man who has all this money, actually, I mean, I will say there's two, but one's being real silent right now just because of the abuse that people gave to him for so long. And I'm not saying he's being completely silent, but you know what? He's like, Elon, hats off to you, brother. You take this fight, okay? So anyway, it's crazy. You got this one man saying, I think it should be fair. I think it should be fair. I think it shouldn't be toxic. I think anybody should be able to say what they want to say and do what they want to do without repercussions of somebody trying to censor them. Somebody trying to put them in jail, as people say it. You know what I mean? A lot of people on Facebook, a lot of my friends on Facebook write me like, hey, man, send me a text. Hey, man, you won't see me for a while. I'm in Facebook jail. I don't share the meme that uh, apparently they didn't like. But apparently this has caused a somewhat of a battle of the billionaires if you will, a battle of the billionaires, because as I said, the mainstream media is now trying to put out that uh, billionaires should not own these corporations. Billionaires should not, you know, people should not be in charge of these corporations. You know, the Washington Post put that out actually, and I looked it up and the Washington Post is actually owned by Jeffrey Bezos. So <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out where they're coming from in saying that Elon Musk can't own Twitter, but Jeffrey Bezos can own that. In fact, Jeffrey Bezos questioned the, the purchase of Twitter, saying, did China get a leg up? Because, as everybody knows, Tesla is a, is a car company. It's manufactured. It's done all this. A lot of stuff comes from China. Look, we get a lot from China, okay? I'm not, trying, I'm not, I'm not here to put China down. What I am here to say is, Jeffrey, do you not get a lot from China, too? Does Amazon not reap in the benefits of China too? He later came out to say China, he doesn't think China uh, benefited, blah, 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 blah. Wow, a battle of the billionaires, man. Two billionaires with totally different views about society going head to head. I think it's exciting, man. And in the coming days, I think it's going to be super exciting for us. But what they are most worried about what they are most worried about right now is we had a blue wave come over the country. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. That ain't no news, man. We had some crazy blue wave come over the country, man. And next thing you know, the president done change. Governors done change. Everything done changed. And now it's all of a sudden starting to revert back. Why? Why does it revert back? We the people are voting different. Does that mean that the wave didn't bring in the tide they wanted it to? Probably. That's probably what it means because it goes back and forth. People want what is good for them. And right now they're not getting what is good for them. And therefore, they're starting to look somewhere else. Hey, man, do you think we can go over here and grab something else? Do you think that this might be a little better? Do you think gas prices were a little, a little nicer for me? It was, you know, I mean, could I stretch my paycheck a little more a couple years ago? Probably. That's what people are thinking now. It is insane to think about it all, man. It's insane to think about it all, but I'm super excited to see where everything's going, y'all, man. This is so, this is, this is big. This is big. What a time to live in, man. What a time to be alive, to see these things happen, these changes that we wanted to see. But it's crazy because once again, propaganda rears its ugly head and now immediately people want to jump on the bandwagon and say oh Elon Musk is racist oh Elon Musk doesn't like poor people oh oh Elon Musk must be trying to run for president blah 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 all these tactics we heard before did we not when Mr. Donald Trump ran for president everybody used to love Mr. Trump everybody did rappers used to like make themselves try to, you know, every rapper tried to put themselves next to him. I'm the Donald Trump of this and that and that. You know, everybody loved him. Everybody wanted to take a picture with him. Everybody wanted to shake a hand with him. He was the greatest entrepreneur we had seen. Everybody raved over him. Then he ran for president and everybody hated him. Well, Elon, everybody, everybody loved you. In fact, that's what made me so skeptical. 
I was like, man, this guy's got to have, like, I just don't know about him. I used to tell my wife that. I just don't know about this guy. Super successful, man. Do I look up to him? Yeah, man, all entrepreneurs want to look up to somebody like that. But at the end of the day, I was skeptical until I started seeing this stuff come out. And I'm like, now everybody's hating on him immediately. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a light switch just turned in their head. Boom, let's hate on this guy because he's doing something that we don't agree with. <laughs> I find it very comical, y'all. At the end of the day, I find it super comical to the point that Politico did uh, say, Politico put it out, you guys can look it up or whatever, uh, during the board meeting where this deal went down, the lawyer started crying. The lawyer cried that he felt Twitter was going in a bad direction. Elon, fire that guy. I'm gonna tell you right now, fire him. That's not the lawyer you want on your hands. Also, all the people there that are tweeting bad things about him, isn't it crazy how immediately, what did they do when they got angry? They went to Twitter and they tweeted bad things about their new boss, ultimately. Elon, you go on Twitter, you find them all, it makes it real easy to fire people. You, and you, and you, you're cool. And that's just how it goes, man. It's insane. It is insane, y'all. But we will see how it goes, man. I appreciate y'all coming on the channel. I appreciate y'all listening to me rant for a little bit, man, because this is, as I said, amazing in my mind to see where we're going to go in the future, man. This is awesome. As I said, American Dilly might get a Twitter account. Hell, I just got a TikTok and it's been doing pretty good. So, you know, it is what it is, man. If y'all like this, uh, podcast if y'all like this video if y'all like if y'all like the content that i'm giving you please leave a like and subscribe and a comment down bottom okay let me know if there's future things that you want me to do man go hit my apparel store up man as i said these are these these are american made tees man we're making them for you guys i'm putting them together with my own hands i have i have a hand in every shirt that gets made so it's not being made i'm not outsourcing it to any company Okay, we bring it all in, we do it all ourselves. That's just how we do it because that is the spirit of America and that is what American Dilly is. Until next time, friends, love your friends, love your family, love your neighbors. Most of all, love yourself. If you do not love yourself, how do you radiate that energy out and show that love to the world? And let's be honest, we can't change the world unless we change ourselves, Joe. So look in the mirror, love that person you see, man, love them love them. Say, hey man, I love you so much. I love your flaws. I love everything about you because once you accept that person, everybody else around you can benefit and that's just what it is. Until next time, friends, this was American Dilly. I am American Dilly and I'm signing off. Peace out. Stay safe worldwide. I love y'all. It's America.